Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Mojang just came out with the week 40 snapshot for Minecraft, and that has a new feature in it. Namely, the feature is you can give you can give items custom names and custom lore text. So for instance, I've changed this enchanted bow's name to the strongman's bow. It's got some lore text. A bow with the strength of a bear, with the strength of two bears. So that's just an example of what you can do. It's, it still shows the power four enchantment that's on it, and it's got that shimmer. Um, so the way that I did this is that I wrote an MC edit filter that allows you to type in these strings and it'll just add it to it. Uh, the way previously MC edit didn't support strings in the filters so there is actually a new version of MC edit that's available now so you can check out the link in the video description to find that and thank you to TK Tech for putting that build up for me. And so I've, I've made a filter for this, but I've also made a filter for the player heads thingy where you can have custom uh, player heads. So this one is Etho's head. Uh, it looked kind of weird without the bandana and stuff, but here's his Kakashi skin without all that. And so you can you can use my filter to make whatever, whatever custom uh, item names, item lore with, uh, with these colors. Normally it wouldn't be green. And you can also use the filters to make custom player heads with whatever player head you want. So to do that, you'll plop down a couple chests. In the left chest, I'm going to put a diamond sword, give that a name. And in the right chest, I'll put down uh, put down a head. This is just a head straight from the creative menu. And then I'm going to head over to the new version of MC Edit and use my filters. All right, here we are in MC Edit. First, I'm going to select the left chest because that one has the diamond sword in it. I'm going to go down to filters and I'm going to use this modify item strings filter. It's a new one that I've just written and I'm going to put the name. I just want this to be test data so I'm going to put test name and you can select the color of the name if you want. By default it would be white but I could use say uh, dark red and I could also make it bold, whatever, underlined. Just, just doing this for an example. Okay so then for lore I'll put line one of lore. And let's make that, sure, it could be pink, italic. And so when I hit filter, that'll make the name, the test name, that'll add a line of lore. So you get the first line of lore. Let's put the second line of lore and make that gold uh, underlined. Okay. So that's all we have to do for that one. And, that, and we'll see in a second what that comes up with. Then in the right one, I'm going to run my players, player uh, player skulls filter down here and I can pick a name uh, I'll pick my good buddy FV Disco and hit filter that's all you have to do and we'll head back to Minecraft alright and back in Minecraft some of you may have noticed I actually edited the wrong items so I edited the items that were already here so here we have that test name it's bold and underlined you'll notice that, that the two lines of lore that I added just get appended onto the existing lore there's no way to delete the lore, you'll just have to create a new item if you want to do it. Not with my filters at least. So we still have that bow with the strength of bear with the strength of two bears. We also have line one of lore, line two of lore, and we can have different colors and attributes for the for the multiple lines of lore. And then over here, we have FV Disco's head instead of Etho's head. And put that on a sign, and that is indeed the head on FV Disco's skin. So pretty cool, pretty easy to use. Uh, again, thank you to TK Tech for updating MC Edit so that the filters can now have strings. Also, there was there were some bugs that were fixed, so some of you that were unable to run MC Edit before might be able to run it now, but even still, it's a little bit glitchy for those users. Uh, but you can try it out, and again, that link is in the video description, along with the links for these two filters. That's about it. Thanks for watching.